Hey, what's up, people? Robot is back with another video. Today, we're gonna be doing the tenth episode, I think, from the series "Getting Better at Call of Duty." Um, I'm pretty excited to continue this series because it's been a really long time since I haven't uploaded a video on that series. And today, what we're gonna be talking about is uh, mostly about anticipating or foreseeing someone or a movement or a play from the enemy team, the opposing team. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit of anticipating and to seek, to foresee a enemy play. Um, the, why is it so important to anticipate what an enemy would do is because you want to take all the advantage and all the possibilities from the enemy doing something that you would anticipate that would make you in a better advantage um, that would make you the person in advantage and not the person or that should wait for the opponent's move or you doing the move uh, instead so that is why anticipating is pretty important in competitive gaming um, it is also pretty useful in public matches as you want to pop stomp or just kill the hell out of every person in the uh, public matches um, but what is anticipating? So I will just give an example and then I'll bring it back to you um, what is supposed to mean and how you are supposed to an see or analyze um, the uh, sort of action. So let's say um, you're in Freight and you're playing Freight Search and Destroy. Um, just before the start of the game, you know that you can snipe across to the containers and in on the other way also so whenever you're going to snipe you got to make sure not to go on top green or if top wins if you want to call it and maybe try out uh, another way of trying to pick off the people who are sniping so for example anticipate that someone will come from the red train and someone will be at let's say the containers um, you just like somebody goes red from your team and you go fire for example and you throw a grenade over the red train and to the containers that is an example um, why would you do that? it's simple because you know somebody on the other team is going to be sniping so that means you don't want to challenge because you don't want to pick off you don't, you don't want to get picked off early in the game because in search and destroy it's really important to have your four players alive and having your four players alive and against three other enemies um, is a, go, having a huge advantage um, over your opponent so just something like that is important uh, another example I could say is let's say um, the you're the last player on your team there is two other players um, let's say you pick up the bomb and they think you're going B um, you're gonna go A plant at A and you know they're gonna come from at least two sides one from red building and one from Owen, Owen's building because they wanna pin you they wanna trap you in a a little um, prison as you can see or say if, if you're making the right image but uh, one's gonna come from red or fire so at least from there you know there's gonna be someone so you just have to be anticipating he's gonna come from where is it red back red lumber or fire and you know somebody's gonna come from green probably maybe going to be a f doing a flank to brown um, that's maybe uh, but most of people won't do the big um, flank if they have a, a little time uh, limit so you're gonna anticipate that so you gotta make sure you get one kill and the other person the other enemy doesn't see you killing that person that is know where you are so whenever you get your kill anticipate that your enemy will not know where you are and will maybe anticipate as you you're gonna maybe go if you kill the person on green or Owens you probably think you're gonna go fire so maybe do a full flank in the back um, or maybe come back to underground and go to brown or maybe just come back really quickly and try to get a challenge on the person so having a lot of um, how can you say challenging or many for seeking events um, anticipating many movements from the opponents can get you a little bit of advantage over the enemy and what is this going to bring it is going to be the next part of this video if you can say the next episode of the series 
which is going to be being twitchy, um, being a quick and fast player, being uh, on your, being a, a a really intense player whenever you're playing, moving a lot, and being like that. Surprising your enemy is really important. It's whenever you, it's what you're gonna get kills for, and what's gonna make you a better player. So I hope you enjoyed this little tip. Um, it's just a little tip to help you get better. Um, just try it out. Anticipate. Try to make some um, some plays before the play actually happens, and it should help you in many ways. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video, and tell me in the comment if it helped because it's the most important thing I want to know if it helped you guys. And if you want to see something special or some other things, um, next episode should be on being a twitchy player, being an active player uh, with your hands. Hands, sorry. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe for more videos. Robotize out. Peace.